YouTube, this is a short video about the fuzzy dwarf lionfish. What we have here is a three to four, no, two to three inch version of the fuzzy dwarf lion. This one's named Gizmo. He's been in my saltwater tank for about a month now. They eat, this one only eats live ghost shrimp, which I feed him twice a week, and I just drop a bunch in and feed it to the entire tank. They're very, very peaceful. He hasn't bothered any of my other small fish, and there are some small ones in there, including a black and white chromie he could easily swallow. You can see there's a few tangs in my tank as well who are getting into the shot, but we're focusing on Gizmo for this one. He is, like I said, a fuzzy dwarf lion who... They're pretty cool little animals. They're ambush predators. If you have a lot of rock work, as I do in my 80-gallon tank, it's four feet wide and there's 90 pounds of rock in it, you're not going to see a lot of them except on feeding days, I've noticed. Here, he's actually being fairly active. Usually, he doesn't even move that much. They can handle the higher current tanks. If you've got a large one and want a small lion, don't want to have to deal with the predatory issues with, like, I don't know, say a Voltaire, which really will eat everything. Like, he would be long gone if Gizmo was a Voltaire instead of a fuzzy dwarf. They're also really good for smaller tanks. I've seen them full grown. They only hit about four inch, four and a half to five inches. So you could keep one as a show fish and say a 30, but it's not gonna be a show fish you see a lot of. But they don't get too big. They're not too active. They're pretty tolerant. I've been super happy with mine. I wish I saw them more. But the one thing you have to notice, and I will back out a fair amount, is they disappear pretty easily into the rock work. You can see them moving there, but they don't move even when nudged if they're not in the mood. So you have to be very aware of when you're reaching your hand into a tank, especially one that is two feet deep and has a pretty pronounced rock shelf. I'll tilt around to the front to give you guys another view on it. And I personally have not been stung by this one yet. I was stung a few weeks ago, but I think it was by the anemone. And I've heard it's excruciating. You can see his fins, he just screams super poisonous, and they are. Those barbs on the top absolutely will sting, and they will go through gloves, I've read. Haven't personally experienced it, but it's something you need to be aware of if you want one. Actually, that might be his dinner right there. That's a ghost shrimp I added today. They're fresh water, but they'll survive for about two days in there. Anyway... If you guys are thinking about buying one, I certainly recommend it. You just have to be aware that they are poisonous, they are predatory, and you won't see a lot of them. But if you want to add something cool to the tank, not a lot of people have them. I definitely recommend it. Keep you updated on mine as time goes on.